everyone. I'm Liz Brown Swanson. Welcome to RPV City Talk on the Road, a special report. I'm at City Hall with some exciting news to share as staff is getting ready to finally open the doors again to the public on May 18th as we continue to navigate through the pandemic. A lot of other exciting news to report. The fact that the preserve and the trails and our beaches in the city and our park sites are now reopened with many rules in place, such as you need to continue physical distancing wearing masks. You can learn all about the do's and don'ts by logging on to rpvca.gov. Now, city leaders have also been doing more outreach as they are able to get out into the community more, delivering lunches to our first responders and frontline workers to say thank you. We caught up with our city founder and council member Ken Dida, along with the city manager at County Fire Station 53 as they delivered meals to very grateful firefighters. So let's check it out. And then later we're going to travel over to the Sheriff's Department where we're going to see our community le leaders bring more meals to the crews over there. Hello, I, I'm Aaron Moranian. I'm the city manager with the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. And this is council member Ken Dida. He is the, the founder of the city back in 1973. And so um, we're here to say thank you to our frontline workers. So we really want to appreciate them express our gratitude from the city and the taxpayers and the residents of the community. Um, we're supporting our local restaurants. We got you lunch from uh, a restaurant called Bird Talk on Western Avenue. And, and we're, we're giving it out to all the fire uh, departments in Rancho Palos Verdes and Rolling Hills Estates today. And then we're going to be going over to um, Lomita Sheriff Station this evening. So it's just our way of saying thank you for all that. Thank you. Thanks, we appreciate thank it. You. Yeah. yeah, nice yeah, to meet you, gentlemen. It, thank it, you. It's from the people. Hi, welcome to a little run around that we're doing with the city. It's our way for the citizens to say thank you to the first responders as one side and also to help the businesses get a good start in our city. We're finding lunches for our, the people at the first responders. Today we're dealing with the fire department and this evening we're going to hit the sheriff's department. Now there's been some confusion about who the citizens should listen to with respect to openings. The city closed the parks for safety and the city is opening them in a phased fashion. So watch what the city announces and you'll know exactly what's going on. We're doing it in a phased approach so we don't get an instant invasion and overwhelm uh, our system. So for those of you in our city, please come and enjoy with respect and care. Other than that, have a good time and stay home, stay safe, and stay healthy. Thank you. Our city manager, Ara Moranian, came up with a good idea for us to um, go to some of our local restaurants in Rancho Palos Verdes, pick up some dinner. Uh, tonight we're picking up dinner, and we've delivered it to the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department, the Lomita Station. And But we've been doing this over the last couple weeks where we've actually bought lunches or dinners from a local restaurant in Rancho Palos Verdes, and we went ahead and uh, delivered it to our frontline uh, workers, you know, people that are working in the hospitals, fire department, sheriffs, and that's so it's been great. Of course, it's a nice gesture, and all these dinners are paid for by our citizens in Rancho Palos Verdes and the taxes they pay. Um, and so I know that our frontline workers appreciate that, but I think more so our, our residents and the people in our city, we appreciate the fact that our sheriffs are committed to protecting us. Um, I was just talking with our captain here and, and uh, he was saying to us that some of the crimes did actually go up a bit in the commercial properties because when people were no longer going to their businesses, I think opportunist criminals thought they would hit the uh, businesses and so there were burglaries within the uh, commercial space in, in our city. And fortunately, he said we were able to catch them fairly quickly. So they're still doing their job. They're still looking out for us. One of the things I worried about when this started, when people started losing their jobs and getting frustrated about this whole thing, was that we would have a surge in crime. And uh, we haven't witnessed that yet, thank goodness. Um, and it's really because of the way our sheriff's department, they're just professionals here and they protect us. And that's it's been great. And other great things are starting to happen. You know, after weeks of being shut down, RPV, we're coming together, RPV together and reopening. I mean, so I look at it, so everyone wants everything to reopen. I, and trust me, and I hear it from people and I get it. I, I, the frustration level of that. And there's three basic things that have shut down our, all of our 
businesses. Uh, of course, our city facilities shut down right when the uh, safe at home order came. And then uh, also our trails and parks. And anyone that's been to our beautiful city or lives in the city knows we have 1,400 acres of open space. We have 22 parks. And so really one big reason we're here is because of the parks and trails. Um, we've slowly been reopening our parks. We actually reopened the preserve and uh, people are able to access all of our trails and parks and get some fresh air. Yes, we have rules about the safer uh, distancing, six foot plus or having masks and that. And so we're still completely encouraging that and people are being great. They're going out there, they're complying, they're giving other people distance, they're enjoying the open space. And so I really encourage people to get in, out there and enjoy our trails and our, and our parks. Now for all the latest COVID-19 information and what's happening in the city, log on to the city website, rpvca.gov. We appreciate you joining us. Stay safe out there.